we are in a different atmosphere, a different setting. I should have got my other phone to share this on my personal page, but it's fine. Well, there's nobody on there yet. <laughs> yeah, we're on a different kind oh, of porch. Yeah. We're on a different porch. We're on my back porch oasis that I used to live in. I made my sister come up here because Maverick's not asleep yet. And I told her, I said, I can't come to your house. You'd have to come over here. And she was like, I got you. So she had to come here and fix her makeup. I just got off work. You look I, beautiful. I've worked for the past four. It's been 40,000 years. <laughs> you, can, you can cuss. Go ahead. You can cuss. We're adults here. <laughs> it, it's been a lot this weekend. A lot. But anyway, I've worked all weekend. And I... Work four twelves. Hi, and Annie. Hi, Mary Taylor. If anything, I don't think I'm built for that anymore. <laughs> We're getting old. <laughs> I'm not built for four twelves, <laughs> and two of them I was by myself. <laughs> Hello, Marla. How are you? If you if you're new to my page or my videos, my sister is a nurse practitioner, and she has a very hard job dealing with the masses. <laughs> she likes to vent about it. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Elaine. Chester. How's your Florida house? As far as I know, it's okay. There's no power there. I can't see the cameras, but I have a neighbor that is very attentive, and I feel like he would have messaged me if something was wrong, oh, yeah. and I didn't hear from yeah. him. So, I think it's fine. It's I'm fine. getting ready to go to Florida, though. In the next week, I'm going to go down there. I need to go check on my things. I need to go check on the house. and I'm going with you. I hope you do, because we need to pack, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what know. I'm doing. I'm so confused right now. My life is just, it's messy. My life is very messy. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I staying in West Virginia or am I going back to Florida? I don't know the question of the century, but I do know this. Mm -hmm. uh, our dad has an appointment tomorrow at 430. Yes. He called this evening. I talked to him on the phone almost an hour. Oh, good. I meant to call him, but I was so busy at work, I, I didn't get a chance yeah. to him. And he went to the DMV today because somebody broke into his truck and stole his wallet and his registration and his insurance cards and everything. So he took himself to Logan today and got all that stuff back in order. But did he? He said he did. I got popcorn wow. kernels in my mouth. I've been eating popcorn with Maverick. You know what? The gifts just keep on giving today. <laughs> Yep. But, Are we in Chapmanville? Yes, we're in Chapmanville. Um, Laverne but, says, do you have a schedule of upcoming events? Yes. we. Yeah, kind of we do. Well, I mean, yes. In November, we're going to be back in Tennessee at the Thomas House. What is the name of that town? Red Bulling Springs, Tennessee. Red Bulling Springs, Tennessee. And we have an attentive, an attentive, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a tentative date. For Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. So. Yeah. That is. Um, that's exciting. We are working with some promoters and stuff like that right now. Um, but um, that is going to be, when that gets locked in, that's going to be like a Janu end of January, February kind of thing. So, when we get more details on that. We'll it, post it. We'll but, post it. But right now, we are definitely the Saturday before Thanksgiving in November. Of course, Thanksgiving is in we're at Red Bulling Springs, Tennessee at the Thomas House. Thomas House. And there's going to be two shows that day. There is going to be a matinee in the afternoon. And, of course, when we get the times down, we'll let everybody know. But we do know there's going to be two shows. There's going to be a family-friendly, kid-friendly show. Um, not it, that I'm bad. I'm right, not bad at no. all. I'm and not. And then the more unedited version uh it's going to be that evening. It's going to be that evening. I so, like to talk about stuff that's not appropriate. I don't cuss or swear or anything like that when I do my stand-up skit. But but I talk about real-life events. I don't make any of it up. It's real-life stuff that happens. And it's not always kid-friendly. Yeah. So, we're going to do two shows that day. But that, I think it's November. Is it November 22nd? I think it's the 22nd. It's the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh, hey from Indiana. <laughs> Hey, Mandy from Polka. Hey, we would love Mandy. to come to Colorado, Veronica. Hopefully somebody messages us. Oh, yeah, we would. Oh, I'm there. Heather loves out west. I've I never, have, I have never been out west in a vehicle. I have flown to L.A. I've been to Hollywood. I've been to L.A. Uh, in a plane, but I've never um, 
seen it firsthand in a car or anything like that, like you have. She goes on motorcycle trips with her husband. They have Harleys. Yeah. They go on big rides and stuff. So she's been all over the United States on a motorcycle. I've just hey, been Ronnie. up in a plane, looking over the Grand Canyon from the plane. <laughs> but um, speaking of riding motorcycles, uh, one thing that we do want to say, um, we got sidetracked, but anyway, <laughs> um, we are very much... Um, praying for those that are in our neighbors, Southern Appalachia in North Carolina, Georgia, uh, Tennessee, uh, with the flooding, it is just devastating down there. And me and Chris didn't get to go and do like our big motorcycle trip that we normally do this year because we was taking care of my dad. Um, but what we did do back in the spring, we had several trips down to the Western North Carolina and Johnson City and went to Alabama. We just had a blast and we absolutely love the western part of North Carolina and it just has broke our hearts seeing whatever all these little towns we rode the motorcycle through. We love that area and it's just very heartbreaking. So we're very much in prayer for all of those people and hope they get back on their feet so soon. I just hate it for all of them. It's yeah, I was, I was beautiful country. honed in today on Fox News watching everything, and it's heartbreaking. Uh -huh. It really is. I can't imagine. You don't realize how blessed you are. Yep, you really right. don't. And when uh, stuff like that happens, it's it's unexpected. Like, you hear warnings on the news. We've been here before. Like a torn We are in West Virginia, and a few years ago, a tornado came up the holler where my parents live. Ripped the roof off their house, ripped the porch off of it. Um, I was with my Littles, Maggie and Maverick's dad at the time. And I was up here at my mom's and I ran home to wake him up for work. He worked night shift, pack his lunch, do all that kind of stuff when the tornado hit. My mom hid in the shower with Maverick and Maggie while it destroyed their house. And who would think that a tornado would hit West Virginia? But it did a few years ago and it destroyed this house. It did. Yeah, yeah it sure did. It was, it was very unexpected. You get warnings, you know, you're watching the news and you're just like, oh, it's no big deal, whatever. They're saying this. It's not really going to happen until it does actually happen. So I'm sure those people are shook to the core. I, yeah. Like we was when it happened here. Yeah, it was we, bad. Yeah, and we've had a few really bad floods in our area over the years that have been quite devastating. And we've had family that's lost their whole, whole homes as well in those floods. And it is... It's impressive how quickly that happens and how quickly that escalates and how quickly you can lose everything. Um, but um, hopefully they get everybody rescued and found. And Yeah. Somebody keep, I've seen a couple comments about my house in Florida. As far as I know, it's fine. I said that earlier. Uh, I have a neighbor down there. I think he would message me if something was wrong. Um, as far as I know, everything's fine. Did, There's no power there. I just said, somebody said your friend made it on The Voice. Did he? See, I didn't, we haven't got to watch More it. More Elderton. Hey, I just, listen, Stacy Bellow, Elder, Elderton, if you're on here watching this tonight, I saw where you shared where he was going to be on The Voice tonight, so I shared it too. And then I went to his page and started watching all these videos, and I was like, this guy has got it. He's amazing. He's awesome. I followed him. So there's like, tonight on The Voice, there was a hometown boy from West Virginia on there. And it was pretty exciting. Yeah. And someone just said he made it on the voice. So did the, did he get a chair turn? I'm I'm assuming that's what you meant by that. I hope he did. I hope he got a chair turn too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's exciting. There's a lot of talent in West Virginia. There is. Um, well, what is the guy's Some name uh, that America's Got Talent? Landau Murphy. Mm -hmm. He's from Logan. Um, funny thing about it is, is uh, when I was a baby nurse, new nurse. Long time ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, his family owned like a car deal detail place, or maybe he worked at it. I'm not sure what the connection was. But he used to come and get our on payday every two weeks. He would come to the ICU unit, and he we would put all of our keys in a basket, and he would come and get our vehicles like two at a time, him and another guy, and they would wash our vehicles for us on payday. And I loved it. It was the best ever. I need somebody to wash my vehicle for me. It's not payday, but be nice. My, both my vehicles need washed right now. Yeah, mine does too. <laughs> mine does too. <laughs> uh, Teresa says, who was it? I'm watching now. His name is... Moore Ilderton. Moore Ilderton. I-L-D-E-R-T-O-N. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
screen call me. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Yeah. Hey, Tammy. <laughs> yes, Savannah, we're both nurses. I haven't worked in several years. I still have a nursing license. I worked 22 years at a hospital in Charleston, and then I quit nursing to stay home with Maverick because it was just too much, and that's kind of when I fell into doing videos and all this, and that kind of took off. So, But I'd go back to working as a nurse tomorrow if I had to. I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I could still sink an 18-gauge right now. AC. I don't, it, it's built different. They're, these, it's different. <laughs> I don't know. It was bad. My last, my last couple years working as a nurse was bad. But oh, Linda, yes, from Taze Valley, you made it. Oh, awesome! Oh, oh that's so exciting! Congratulations! Yes. Oh, yes. that's exciting. Oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it like on TikTok or. Well, we'll go to Stacy's page and see if she shared it. Yeah. I'm sure she did. That's, that's awesome. exciting. Now, is this Stacy's son? Or no, nephew. she's married to an Elderton. I think it might be her husband's brother or nephew, maybe. I'm okay. not for sure. Okay. We're, we're totally talking out our ass right now. We don't know. What, we know that There's it's a relationship to Stacy. Yeah. There's not that many people with that last name in our area. Uh, we got one from... North yes, North Carla. North. He is a cutie with blonde hair. That's him yep. for sure. Because yep. I started following him this evening and was watching a bunch of his videos. Oh, Most of his music is you, Christian Shelley. music, too. Yes, I did. Um, uh, my hair, I got it cut. We are on two different ends of the spectrum right now. She's black and I'm blonde. <laughs> it's like, supposed to be like a dark chocolate brown, but it's... Abby Witt, what is the worst nursing procedure you've ever had to do? Ooh. I don't know. I, I had a couple just pop up in my mind. <laughs> Anytime you get a patient that's constipated with an impaction... They give you a report from the ER with enemas on board, and you're on deck to do that. That's bad. That's yeah. going to be a bad, busy night for you. I remember a lot of nights like that. I also remember nights working as a nurse, sitting with a patient that was dying with nobody there. No yeah. family, nobody. Yeah. And you had seven other patients, patients that you had to tend to, but that patient had your attention. Because nobody was there, and they was taking their last dying breaths. That's hard as yeah. a nurse. And, and that sticks with you. Um, I worked ER, so I worked trauma and ICU, so um, I could not give you a number of the deaths I've seen. Man, but, I, took, um, I took care of this woman one time. They I'm stay gonna, with you for yeah, life. I'm going to tell this story. I got this patient. It, I was I always work night shift. I like night shift. It's less busy. You don't have as many doctors, family members, therapies, social workers, nothing like that. I love working night shift. I'd bounce back and forth between days and nights, but I always landed back on nights. Anyway, I got this patient. She was the same age as my mom. And she had a distended abdomen is why she came to the ER. And they did an ultrasound on her. Lo and behold, she had a huge cyst on her ovary. It was cancer. She had had a bad pap like five years before this. Y'all get your paps. And get your breast exams. We're coming up on October. And we're, going to do, we're going to do videos on that too. Okay. So anyway... She had had a bad pap. She never followed up with it. Um, fast forward, her abdomen is distended. She goes to the ER. She's in horrible pain. I get her as a patient. She comes up to the floor. She's a total train wreck. She really was. She was my mom's age. She had two daughters, both her daughters. One was my age. One was my sister's age. So it was hitting home for me, big time. That was the first time I ever had a patient die on my shift. I'd never went through that before. She comes up to the floor. We're trying to catheterize her. We're trying to work on her. We're trying to get her settled. And she just literally dies right there on the spot. It was bad. It was horrible. It was my first patient. I'd probably worked as a nurse for 10 years at that point before I ever had a patient die on me. It was bad. It hit home. It was awful. It wrecked me. I think I called in the next night, to be honest. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. And I'm not laughing. Hey, like Tina Taking from it light, lightly. It was bad. Hey, Debbie. Y'all need to come do a meet and greet down here in Dotham, Alabama, maybe on the on the way to Pensacola. Mm. That'd be easy to do. Yeah, yep. for sure. That's right. It was his first time to ever perform in front of an audience, too. I don't know what that Oh, was. wow. He went full sand. Who did? Whoever. Well, I don't know if they're talking about the Elderton kid or um, the other one from Georgia that somebody had oh, mentioned okay. earlier. That's impressive. Okay, so about our somebody just mentioned our dad. Tomorrow, our dad went through chemo and radiation for seven weeks, 
and we've had the last week off, and we've enjoyed it immensely. My dad called me this evening. We was on the phone for an hour. But tomorrow, he has an appointment at 430. Yes. And we are taking him back to the hospital because he's getting his scans. This is a very important appointment because we are going to see if the chemo and radiation was successful. And I feel it was. I really do. I feel like we're going to go in there tomorrow. He's going to get those scans done. And we're going to be looking it up on our phones because we have the app on our phone. Because mm -hmm. we're nosy. <laughs> we nosy witches like that. And we're going to look it up tomorrow evening on our way home. And it's going to be all clear. That is that is truly how I feel. Heather feels differently. Because <laughs> we talked about this last night. <laughs> she feels like it's still there or that something's going on. I don't. I think it's. I think it's gonna be good. Somebody said, "What's the most craziest thing you ever seen as a nurse?" Oh, uh, that would be like a very long conversation because I worked ER and honey, I mean, and I'm still in like urgent care and uh, most of my nursing I career has been in the ER and there's not been nothing hardly shocks me. I have seen Thank it you, all, <laughs> and then some. <laughs> She loves, loves your hair. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I was going to get extensions. That's a long story. I'll who, would ever get, who would ever get extensions? I really wanted, like, that Ella Langley hair. I wanted that hair so bad. And, like, I Ella Langley. Yeah. The one that, excuse, excuse me. <laughs> you look like you love me. That girl. Yes. <laughs> and, um. Long story short, they didn't get ordered in time, and I was, like, wanting something now. So, it was either going to be I'm cutting it off, or I'm getting extensions. Real extreme. So. She went extreme. I went extreme. She sent me a picture when she got her hair done like this, and I said, who hurt you, Marilyn? <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Manson. <laughs> she looked beautiful, though. She could pull off any hair, too. <laughs> I lost your trip. Um, my trip was good. Went yeah. with my family. And the kiddos, and everything was good. We had a great time. Uh, we actually went down to Knoxville to go to the races. The Street Outlaws was going to be there, but it got canceled because of the weather. And it's rescheduled for two weeks from now, so we're going to go back in two weeks. Because we already bought the tickets. But me and my parents and my kiddos went, and we had a great time. Uh, Maverick actually rode a go-kart for the first time ever. My dad took him on it, and he done so good. And I got videos. I need to post those videos. I haven't done anything like that yet. But he done great. He really did. When they first took off on the go-kart, he started crying, and it freaked me out. But I ran upstairs because it was like a level go-kart track. Thank you, Linda. And I ran upstairs to Thank watch you, him. And when they come around the first lap, Maverick was just like squealing and smiling and so happy. So it was good. It was a good trip. Yeah. We had a really good trip. Thank you, Amanda. Good luck, Darlene. You'll be in our prayer. She has tried, uh, five five more treatments to go, total oh, of 12. Yeah. You got this, girl. You can do it. Hey, Nancy from Florida. But anyway, we just kind of took the week off. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, mean, I worked. Like, well, like, no, I didn't mean it like that. Like, we had the week off with running back and forth. <laughs> we had the week off from running back and forth to travel with my dad <laughs> um and i were i think i had one day off this week and that one day off i spent it at my dad's <laughs> i went in grocery shop for him and um uh, cooked him something to eat and done some meal prep hi kevin palmer looking forward to seeing you in november yep and future dates that's right, Shelly. Matt yeah. loves the speed. He does. Yeah, I knew once if you could get him on that go kart that he would absolutely love. He did good. And he then was I was like, like trying to fake drive it and stuff. It was so cute. She I was love sending it. me uh, videos of it, and I was like, "Oh, they're getting ready to have a problem." Guys, like, because he'll not want to get out of that thing. <laughs> They'd be bringing a go kart home. <laughs> he did really good, though. He did. Dawn, that's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Linda Powell. Thank you, Pamela Lee. Yes, Carol, as far as I know, the house is still standing. Yeah. The power's out there. Um, I can't see the cameras right now, but I think everything's fine. I think it'll be fine. I'm getting ready to go back to Florida. Yeah, I think it's fine. 
not I'm, like when I say I'm getting ready to go back to Florida, I need to go down there and check on the house. I haven't been there since the first week of July. I need to go, go back down there and like check on things and decide what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So, yeah. Tomorrow is going to make a big dis Like, the same what my dad scans, like, we have a lot of plans and a lot of things that we want to get rolling on, uh, but a lot of things is just kind of in limbo because we're waiting to see if the scans are clear. So, and if they're clear, great. Full speed ahead. And if they're not clear, then we they're going to be clear. Decisions that we have to make. They're going to be clear. Okay. Okay. She said they're going to be clear. But they're going to be clear. They're going to be clear. We did not go through all that for them not to be clear. They're going to be clear. I won't <laughs> accept anything less than clear. Teresa Welch, I saw your comment a second ago when Heather was talking. I didn't want to interrupt her, but we're praying for you. She just found out she had breast cancer. Yeah. And, you know, the month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we are, we have some cool ideas. Yes. And I bought us matching pajamas. I didn't. I... We're, we're going to have some guest speakers um, regarding breast cancer. We are actually getting our mammogram scheduled. Yeah, because I found a lump on my left boob. I threw those pajamas down. I forgot about that. I got a lump. I know you just ain't feeling your booby right now. I do. I've never so, had a mammogram, but I'm getting ready to have one. I've had a mammogram. They're not fun, but they're not horrible. I tell you what I love about the mammogram. Please do. Please. <laughs> do, yes. Tell us what you love about the mammogram. We all inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the actual mammogram itself. But when I went and had my mammogram, they give you these pretty lush, the place I went to anyway, pink ro the robes, and they come out of a warmer, and it's all cozy and warm, and you're just sitting around, and it looks like you're sitting in somebody's living room, and they got like a, like a barista set up of coffee, and you can make yourself a bougie coffee and just sit there and Does talk. that make the diagnosis of breast cancer easier? No, but I tell you what, it made the whole experience feel very like coffee house, like a bunch of women just sitting around in their warm, fuzzy roses, or roses, robes, um, drinking their coffee and their lattes and stuff, and we was just teeing and having a good old time right until they just squeezed your titty to it. And I had, looking forward had to some it. big old boobs at that point in time. They, they, they smaller now. But um, I tell you what. We'll, we're going to videotape the experience. I mean, it's going to be very much like G, so it's not going to actually show anything. But Nobody's seen any areolas. <laughs> yeah, there'll be no nip slips on that one. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Anyway, I had those Christmas PJs. I bought me a new vintage Christmas PJs. The gingerbread men are Maggie's. The deer are mine. I got you snowmen. They're over there in another bag. Uh, so we can do like those a Those are so stinking cute. I know. I got them at Walmart. So we can do like a themed porch confessions in December. Oh, yeah. And I got yeah. us shirts to wear in October, too. Halloween. Hello, queens. Yeah. I'm excited. I've been decorating my house this first time in a couple years. I've actually decorated my house. I haven't done any reveals or anything yet because I'm still waiting on a few things to hoping to get that all done this week that I have time off. All is good, ladies. Let's see. I warned myself. Yes, thank you, Sherry. Somebody said encourage me to get one. Well, I've never had one. I'm getting ready to have one. You know what? We, I didn't even go to a bougie place. I tell you, I went to a place in Charleston. Actually, I worked there, but you had to go to the outpatient radiology center and like... I yeah. had very low expect. I mean, I just I figured I was gonna be in like I didn't know what the, I didn't know what the hell I was gonna be signing up for. But then when I got there, I was like, "Oh, this is nice. It was so nice." The girl. I feel like it's gonna be nice. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> I do. Spi it. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Spider link. Just had yours last Friday. How long did it take you to get your results back? I want to think that I didn't. They sent me mine in the mail. Well, that's good if they send them in the mail. If they call you, run. Yeah. That means you're going down. Downtown Julie Brown. 
So, yep. Y'all schedule your mammograms. Pumpkin pies for November. You know what? I was a pumpkin girl before pumpkin girls was cool um, as far as that goes. But you know what? I don't. I ain't a big pumpkin pie person. I, I love. Hate, I, I hate pumpkin pie. Ugh. But I love pumpkin donuts. I love pumpkin muffins, pumpkin bread, like that kind of a thing. Right. But as far as the pie, I'll take the crust and all the whipped cream. You have to go every year. Oh, no. Someone said, just got my first mammogram last year. Lee says you can pull up any haircut. Thank you. I hope so, too, Christy. I haven't tried the but, Sinead O'Connor yet, but, I mean, uh, there has been some moments. All that right, Brittany. I, I, I've almost had a Brittany experience a few times. I ain't going, Brittany. I'm keeping all this. This is, my, this is natural. It's not uh, natural. <laughs> There's, there's not much on my body that's natural at this point in my life. <laughs> Somebody said, it's fine. We're fine. The girls are fine. Oh, I love that. <laughs> we need a shirt. Sweet potato pie is better. I've never pumpkin had Pumpkin roll. Pie. Yes. Pumpkin roll. That is the chef's kiss right there. All right. Anything else we want to talk about? Mm. We have that appointment tomorrow. I'll post a video tomorrow. Um... I'm going to vlog taking Daddy to his appointment because I have every faith and hope that his scans are clear. So, we'll video all that. We'll video us pulling up the results yeah. an hour or so later. Get a live reaction from that because it's going to be praise the Lord moment. It is. Yep. It is. It is. I think it's fine. It's going to be fine. Sweet potato pie here all the way. Let me tell you something. And now I can make an amazing sweet potato casserole. Mm. It is the chef's kiss. It is delicious. I go in the morning go right. I was to get results. I go this Friday night. Oh. Pumpkin cheesecake is the best. Yes, Joy. Have you ever had the one from um, Bob Evans? I love their pumpkin cheesecake. Have you had that one? Mm -mm. Oh, it's so good. So good. Favorite dish for homemade. Mm. What's our favorite dish homemade? She makes a mean cheesecake. Like, her cheesecake's really good. I can make homemade cheesecake. Yeah. I can make a lot of things. I'm wife. I is wife. I'm not a wife. But I is wife. I'm a good cook. What was that saying? It's hard to find somebody to tolerate your big dreams and bad choices. Yeah. Oh, you can't handle my big treats while I make poor life choices. <laughs> I'm a good cook. I'm a good wife. I'm not a wife anymore, but I play that role very well. Everybody's like boyfriend. Well. Well, I'm not putting anything out there anymore about my personal life. Uh, as far as the dating goes. Yeah. And, the, and the reason being... My posts get taken down because there's bullying, bullying in the comments, and it's just too much. I can't handle the negativity. I can't handle all the backlash from it. I have been single a year and a half now. I haven't dated. Yeah. I haven't moved on. I haven't done anything I shouldn't have done. I've been present for my kids. I've been present for my dad. I've been present for my family. I have healed. I have went to therapy. I have done all these amazing things, or so I think I have. So what little bit I had tried to put out there about like moving on or dating someone, it ended badly, and the comments was too much, and it kind of wrecked me. So I'm not putting anything out there about that anymore just kind of like keeping that to myself, keeping that personal, which I should have been all along. So, that's where I'm at. About yeah. So, I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I think it'll be it's fun. It's all fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kathy. I think you will, too. Oh, thank you, Shelly. Six-month follow-up, and so far it's not detected. Yay, Chastity, that's amazing news. That is great. <coughs> you know, they say cancer is a five-year sentence. There's this guy that I met. I don't know if he's watching this. I don't even know if he knows who I am, but I met this guy uh, in the waiting room. He was always there with my dad because his appointment was at the same time my dad's was. And his name is Sam and he has pancreatic cancer and you all pray for him. But 
me and him had this big intense conversation the last day I was there with my dad about how cancer is a five year sentence. And he told me that he was going to finish up his radiation and that he wasn't dealing with it anymore. It is what it is. And that just broke my heart because he's young. He's like in his thirties. He's very young and y'all pray for him. I don't know where he's at now. I'll probably never see him again. Um, but he was a really nice person. He's married. He has kids. He has a whole life ahead of him. And I hope he's okay. And he was so positive and upbeat. And he actually yes. he actually had been on his journey for a while and yeah. actually has had really, really good results, which is not common for the type of cancer that he had. So the mere fact that he was... Still kicking. Yeah, and doing as great as he was doing was... Yeah, like the first day that I met him and me and him was talking in the waiting room, he told me he had pancreatic cancer. And I was like, oh, you getting swayze over there, huh? I was like, I know you did not say that to him. I know you didn't. She did. <laughs> he laughed. He thought it was best. <laughs> but he had had surgery. He, he's he been through chemo, radiation, and back again. And has done amazing. Yes. Like, he's done amazing. And that is so... I mean, the cancer treatment is constantly evolving. No person is I mean there's similarities but for the most part it's so individualized because for lots of reasons but anyway um, you just don't know and it is been, it's, it is scary it is scary it is really scary and I just love when I see these great success stories I mean could you imagine I haven't never had to live through that the anxiety the stress that death sentence of yeah. not knowing if it's going to be okay, if it's going to be healed, if it's going to go away, if you're going to go through treatment, it's going to be okay. I mean, it's a lot. Yeah. It is. It is a lot. It's and there's people as out there, there that's been going through it for years. You don't even realize that. Yeah. It's, it's like, a very humbling experience. It is. Yeah. Very. Yeah. It makes, it puts a lot of things into perspective um, as like an observer, a family member going through all that. Yeah, because you think you're going to go through treatment, you're going to do all this, you put all that effort in, and then you find out it didn't go away or it's back again in three months. I mean, it's it's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. And it's impressive, too. Me and her have had this conversation about, like, everything went as scheduled as planned with my dad, but it was hard, you know, it just seems like when people get a diagnosis or what our experience as, like just talking to people prior to this um, whole personal experience, um, like they get diagnosed, they're going in for surgery, they're going in this, so it's like bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. And ours has been like, he had a bad scan in November and it was like a watch and wait and then repeat another scan in March and it's bad. And then they get another scan to check to see how bad that one is that didn't happen till May. And then June, we're like having biopsies that where he's on a waiting list for cancellation. It didn't happen until the end of the month. And it's very drawn out. Yeah, it's, it's very so drawn, drawn out, out. Process. And we were just like, if somebody told me I had that monster in me, I would be like, hey. Uh, yeah, we're going to start treatment tomorrow. Yeah, like, oh, I want this out of me right now. Right. Scoot over somebody. I'm going into OR right now. Let's go. Let's roll with it. And it's not like that. And it's it's, I, I, it's anxiety. It's it's a lot. It is. Yeah. It really is. Thank but we you, didn't Mitzi. mean for this porch confessions to be like down and dreary or something. Yeah, no, no, no. Somebody no. just said something. I saw a comment about, hey, where's your glow at or whatever. I'm happy. I am fulfilled. I'm happy. I'm good. And I think that tomorrow's scan is going to... It's not... It, it, it's like... It's hard because like... You know, you get thick skin doing stuff like this. And like dealing with like... I have very thick skin dealing with this. Public and what have you. And then when you bring anybody new into that world, you know, you kind of want to protect them because they have no idea. And like, it takes, and still even now, comments will like catch you off guard. And, and uh, shake and, you. They and will. Shake you, they will. You know, and either a, a bad comment will either A, make you start thinking, is that what I'm putting out? Is that what people think about me? Because that's not the truth. That's uh, Why would they say something like that? And you feel like you need to defend yourself. Or, 
it's maybe not necessarily a bad comment, but maybe it strikes a nerve because it's a hidden, like it's something that you feel about yourself that you, you're you hoping that you're not projecting or putting out. And then when somebody, and then it makes you just second guess everything or it yep. validates an insecurity you have within yourself. And it can just mess with your head so bad. It takes a lot to get used to that. And even getting used to it and, and, La and some things are just so preposterous and ridiculous, it's just fun to laugh about it. And people are precious. They're so protective of her, they're protective of um, her story that they just want to go go hard at, you know, people. And some people are... Some are just of, innocent victims in the way. Yeah, and some <laughs> of these people, there's some of their comments, like you go and you look at their, and I'm like, oh man, they just now got burned at the stake, and I'm pretty yeah. sure they're probably on some kind of spectrum or a bot or something they're not even like yeah they're just trying to be relevant or something but they can get it fired up and then and it sucks because you can put out a good video that you edited or whatever or something you're excited to share and when facebook takes it down it's down like it's there's no coming back from it it's like it's down down it's locked you better have it saved on your phone if it was something you wanted to watch because it'll never wow. come open again yeah. But. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> All right. So, we'll be back on next week. We're back on schedule. So, we'll be back on next week with Porch Confessions number five. Yeah. And. That's going to be a breast cancer one. Or we're going to try to get Yeah, because we're in October then. Yeah. I know we talked about breast cancer a little bit on this one. But we're going to have, um, I'm hoping, she don't know it yet, but I've got a friend. I'm going to bring her on to go over some breast cancer stuff. We're going to be doing booby checks. <laughs> so. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. What's our favorite holiday? Ooh. Christmas. Christmas is... Christmas. Hands down. Yep. Yeah. And my second one... Oh. I love me some... I, I love fall and I love Halloween. I love fall and Halloween, too, but Christmas is my favorite yeah, holiday. Yeah, Christmas is just amazing. Yeah. Um, my least favorite holiday... Hmm. What would be your least favorite holiday? Valentine's Day. <laughs> Cause love is for the poor. <laughs> I always work Valentine's Day. I'm not. I'm not a fan I of Valentine's Day. That. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm not a Valentine's Day person. I don't like Valentine's. Day. I like the summer holidays. I don't much care. Uh, I mean, Labor Day makes me mad because I'm usually working Labor Day, so I'm like, I celebrate it working. When you're supposed to be resting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, we'll see you all next week. I don't know what day, but I will post. I'll give you all heads up because we never know. With Maverick and my sister's work schedule and our dad and everything, we don't always know. Like, we can't always pinpoint a day and a time. Yeah. But I'll give you guys a heads up. And we'll see you all next week. Yep. All right. Bye, Thank everybody. you all for jumping on. Love you. <laughs>